Well, it's Saturday morning. I just got done shoveling my snow for the fifth time. It snowed all day Friday after I got out of the gym. I came home, shoveled the snow. Went, went home, got back in bed, chilled. Got back up, shoveled the snow again because it got more in there. I got cold in here with me. We're gonna take off, go get some salt. So we put the salt down. And, uh, there. I'm gonna pull out now. I got a shovel with a truck it's sitting. Because it's uh, pretty bad. Make sure I miss these garbage bags. Yesterday was garbage day, but the garbage man didn't come. So uh, maybe he'll come tomorrow. I mean today. Looks like I'm the only one shoveling my snow. Other people got theirs done, but it blew over again or whatever, but it's not too bad. I had to shovel mine though, but I got a bigger driveway than anybody else. I got the biggest driveway in this park. The reason why I got the biggest driveway is because I had my choice. Cause I was pretty much one of the first people to, to move in here. In order to move into this park, your house had to be brand new and it had to be a double wide. There's no single wise allowed in here. So I got in here at the right time. So I was able to pick my spot, whatever spot I wanted. So I picked the one with the biggest driveway, of course. So that's why my driveway, I can park my car side by side and still open the doors. And other people have to power all their cars in one behind the other or do the switcheroo thing and all that, whatever. But the price I pay is, I got a lot of shoveling to do. And uh, some people got carports. The thing is, it will cost me a fortune to get a carport put in, especially now at this late dating time. And um, even if I did it myself, it would be very expensive. So I'd rather shovel the snow. It ain't like I can't use the exercise. Anyway, um, I was going to camp out in the truck last night in the driveway, but I just fed cold and uh, fingers crossed we never had no problems with him doing nothing in the back of the truck. I just didn't want to take a chance of having him out there in the back of the truck all night long after I just got done feeding him. So... He ate quite a bit too or whatever, you know. I didn't want to get that back in my truck. So we've been we've been pretty good so far. We never, he never had no accident in there. But I know it's coming. But I, I got that covered, you know, I got doggy pads and everything ready to go, so we'll be alright. It's gonna happen. I'm, I've already planned for that. And um so anyway. He's hopping back and forth. Roads look pretty clear, the main roads. So, not bad. So I'm gonna pick up speed so I can blow some of this snow off my truck. As long as the windows are clear, I don't bother taking other stuff off. But anyway, uh, it's really bright and sunny, so, I got up this morning and uh, I happened to check on my uh, my batteries and my uh, my solar panels are pulling in voltage, even though they're covered with snow. I know they're covered with snow, but they're still pulling in some voltage. So my batteries are, are topping off. So uh, those those uh, solar panels are real sensitive. Any light that hits them at all, they'll they'll draw some power off of it. Maybe not much but every little bit helps. So, any power I get off of those is power I don't have to use from an electric company. And I am plugged into those, so some of, my, some of my lights in the house and some of my appliances run off of my, uh, my batteries. So, that's power that I don't have to use from a power company, which helps a lot with my, um, my bills, my heat, my electrical bill. Not much, but every little bit helps. So, uh, I'm taking Cole with me to the <laughs> to 
to the place to get some uh, some salt. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, let's see what the gas prices are looking like today. Uh, Three twenty-six a gallon. I don't know what E85 is over there, but I'm sitting pretty on gas. I still got three quarters of a tank of gas in this truck because I got lucky and I was able to fill up on uh, <laughs> E85 at 290, two, I think it was 299, 295 a gallon, which is huge. I was able to fill up, so that's a big saving, you know. I'd rather burn that E85 than regular gas anyway, <clears throat> especially when it's that cheap. <laughs> but it goes back and forth. Sometimes the E85 costs more than the regular gas because the regular gas comes down. So when that happens, I take advantage of it, so I switch back and forth. That's the beauty of having a flex fuel vehicle. And, um, Cole's crying because he thinks we're going to the park, but we're not. We're going to get some salt and then we're going back home. There'll be no uh, park for him today. Look. Yeah, look at him, he's tail wagging. He's all excited. He's jumping back and forth from the front to the back. Probably shouldn't be letting him do that because it's distracting to me while I'm trying to drive. But I can see him being excited. Yeah, he's getting more and more excited. He knows where he's at. Even with the snow all over the place. He likes that one because he can chase those squirrels. Ooh, people stopping up ahead. No signal. That's okay. I'm looking out for you, buddy. But anyway, I'm gonna go and get this salt. Concentrate on my driving. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Well, I'm at the salt place. The salt real quick. Our cold is sitting here. Truck. Stay cold. Hey. Hey.
got that paid for. I'm gonna go out here to and get it. Well, I'm back home and I got my salt. And uh, looks like the garbage man still hasn't come yet. So, I can get up in here without hitting these garbage bags. I'm gonna clean up the spot where the truck was sitting at. <clears throat> Chill out, Cole. Stay.
you go, go move. Uh, okay. Ooh, it's cold out there. I'm gonna turn around so I can back in. Cause I like to, I like to back into my driveway so I can get out. I don't have to worry about running over nobody. But anyway, man, it's cold. It's cold. Very cold. Woo. That's the lady across the street from me. I do her yard too. I show her snow. I'm gonna put some uh, salt down on hers as well. Go back on up in here. And uh, I'm gonna feed Cole. And uh, we'll see what's what the rest of the day. Let me go ahead and get this down. Stay Cole. Stay. Ooh. Man, it is cold. Well, I got that done. Down. We need to shit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Got my buddy here going on in here in the shit. Ooh. I warm my hands up. Ooh, it is cold out there. Oh, my God. Ooh. Funny, this hand it was hanging out. It's colder than the one I was using in that in that salt stuff. Actually, it's not salt. It's actually some different kind of stuff. It's called bear milk, and uh, it's supposed to be better than regular salt, but uh, costs a couple of dollars more. But uh, if it's gonna do a better job than regular salt, then you got me sold. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> it's so cold. It's feeling better in here now. But uh, you can see, I didn't insulate this shit at all. But uh, that'll be a project maybe for this summer. I'll insulate this thing <clears throat> so that it holds heat a lot better. 
I think it's doing too bad right now. I gotta organize it. I never did get that other stuff out of the storage unit. I still got some work to do with it with that. And uh I will be taking care of that. But anyway. Ooh, that's feeling really good. Man. <clears throat> anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.